Good morning. Slept pretty good last night. Quite a bit of mosquitoes around this morning, like normal in the mornings and at night. Um, we're just getting ready, getting packed up and stuff. This barrel has been come has come in very handy. Super happy with it. I got not too much food left. We only have tonight and tomorrow night. But enough food still and plenty of room now in my buff in my barrel. I can put things that I might need quickly instead of trying to get out my big bag, like my rain jacket today, because it's uh, pretty overcast. But then it creates up room in my uh, bigger bag and it gets it lighter. So I got my Shroot Farms beets, you know? The Shroot Farms beet mints. You stay at the Shroot Farms bed and breakfast, you know? And I've been able to put my cook gear in that barrel as well, not have to worry about it in my big bag. So I kind of like it. Like, even if I wanted, I could stick my ax in there, try and even out the, the, the weight between my big bag and my barrel. Morning ritual of spraying down with muscle. I like to spray it on my hat. An instant relief for a little while. Well, I was hoping to run this, but there's no way. Check it out. That's certainly above our skill set, so happy to portage. Best one yet. Dang it, Bobby. Propane is my hobby. On the port again. Walking on land. I could be paddling. But that's how it goes when you're with this friend. He wants to walk across the land again. This thing is a beast. It's on a heavy beast. Any kind of elevation. I immediately have to slow it right down. There we go. All right. Well, let me know what the deal is. If there is a deal. I got it. to the big lake in Wabakimi now and uh Kyle's like hey Joe why don't you go throw your line overboard because well I don't have one to throw so you might as well throw it so I said all right I'll yeah. throw mine over and then uh within like I don't know what two minutes I even got a oh and then we lost him right at the bowl <laughs> Right for, you know, rubbing salt in my room. Well, we're on our last big. Uh -huh. I see you're rubbing off on me. Yeah, screw it. Three more times now. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. Well, here we are. We've got. Uh, <clears throat> uh. Well, Joe and I have just completed a. Joe and I. Four times. Four times. 
We're on the uh, the biggest lake we've been on. This is Wabakimi Lake. And there's an expanse in front of us. It's the most we've seen, uh, vista-wise, since we started. You can really see there's not too many contours around. It's pretty, pretty flat. Sandy soils helps with bugs, you know. <laughs> but uh, we're just making our way down to a uh, series of campsites. Did you see the one down there? It says good at the very bottom or big? Uh, okay. Yeah, you want to head for that one or yeah, that's right. somewhere in the middle or whatever. But where my mind shut off. Yeah, okay. Oh, we got another couple hours or so. But we're all done with the rapids now. Lots of fun. What do you think about the rapids, Kyle? I liked it because we didn't dump in any of them yet. Still had. Fun. Hey, we didn't dump, bro. We didn't. And we still had fun. You're right. I carried around all of that. Rescue equipment for zero reason. Now. Yeah, well, safety Kyle for good strikes yeah. again, you know. Might have had to use it. Cautious Kyle and Danger Joe over here. Gruesome, twosome. If you had old blue, the gruesome. Hey, we, got, we had some great, uh, you know, commentary too. I think my favorite line was, "You're like, where do we go?" And I'm like, "I don't know. Just go straight." Yeah, I don't know. Just go straight. This is what my spotter says. Just go. I don't know. Just go. But sure. yeah, we. But hey, hey, by the grace of God. But did you die? Wait, but did you die though? Yeah, I know. <laughs> touche. Touche. It worked. Not part of my plan. <laughs> Great trip. Great trip. So we might be uh, finding our campsite here in the next couple hours, like I said. And uh, yeah, just be relaxed today. Words that are important. But the words that mean things, we have the wind at our back. Thank you. Lord, because we thought, five we thought that it was going to be against us. Kyle was saying, wait five minutes and it might change. So, or we're going to round a bend or some craziness. Anyway, this has been our life for the past five days. How has yours been? Oh, portaging, work and work. Uh, at the beginning of this trip, when we were planning on doing it, I told Kyle, man, we can do this thing, but I can't carry the canoe. I know I can't. He was like, yeah, no problem. Like, there's not a lot of portage and whatever. I'll carry it. I can, uh, I know I can carry it. I'm like, all right, cool. Thanks, man. And then, like, he did the first one. And as soon as he did the first one, like, as he's lifting it up, I say, if you can't carry it the whole way, just let me know and I'll freaking break out or whatever, switch out. And then, just from then on, we switched on left and right without, or on and off without even really talking about it. And it worked out. Um, was able by the end was able to pick it up easier than at the beginning at the beginning i probably failed three times trying to get it up and kyle had to help me next time i failed once and then got it up and then i was getting it up every time after that kyle didn't have to help me get it up anymore i wasn't gonna say anything <laughs> i could see your head shaking when i was saying <laughs> exactly i'm all your little alan grant freaking life will find a way Safari toque hat, not toque, safari, safari hat. Toque. Safari. That's, that's what I'm calling this thing from now on. It's a safari toque. <laughs> it's the old Canadian safari toque. Anyway, don't go into the long grass, you know? Don't go into the long grass. What's, what's going on, Kyle? Did I talk about it any last time? Oh yeah, probably 20 minutes at least. After ran. I had redesigned fishing poles. Redesigned fishing, fishing poles and how you hate GoPros and will never buy it, support their company again. But maybe you'll wait till the 11 comes out and get that one. Uh, All in the same breath. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. That was kind of like that. So Joe just came up with a new word for my hat, uh, or new saying. I'm going to use this from now on. It's called a safari tube. <laughs> Oh, so my safari too. She was making fun of me because it looks so great. So, so what? So great? I can't talk. This trip, my narration skills are perfect. just this time. Oh yeah, just this trip. All the other ones are perfect. Flawless. Flawless. You kept calling it Wabakini for the longest time. Wabakini? Yeah. You know, maybe I, you know. Yeah, just wait till you watch it back. I put in a different SD card this morning and, uh, it's, it's doing a different type of messing up now. Nice, the best kind. Yeah, I was never buying a GoPro. It's a day early. 
Look how fast he dropped there. Slow. Boop. Oh, like a glove. Like a glove. We're going to hit some crosswind here. It's going to, it looks like a river. It's moving so fast. Going through this pretty little tight area here. I'm trying to find our camp. Kyle, will you tell the camera what's happening today? All day today? Ah, uh, just now, basically. Well, so right now, we've come to camp. It's a lovely camp. Very wide open, spacious, full of blueberries. This camp has the most blueberries of any camp we've had thus far, which is good. And uh, we're just watching the clouds move. Um, and wondering if it's going to downpour, thunder, or well, lightning. It is like thundering, that. quite a bit. Yeah, in the distance, not like on top of us, thank goodness. But, uh, you know, just chilling. It's 3.40 in the afternoon and it feels like the, the sun just went down. Yeah, it it's looked pretty dark. It looks pretty dark. Surprisingly dark. Some more food. I got a couple of things. Oh, hi, I think. Oh wow, I got some dirt right here. Just a couple. Of Just a little things. bit of dirt right there. So I have this black pepper salami. It's really good. Okay, you're a little close. Okay, thank you. I'm trying to tell the camera what I'm doing. It's not really functional. But this, this is what I'm actually excited about. This is really good. Joe doesn't like this, so more for me. But that's fine. Uh, this is Gouda. I'm a big Gouda fan. This is uh, Clarina Vintage, 36 month age, made in Netherlands, Gouda. Nothing but the best. It's pretty good, and it's not terribly expensive. I think this brick was, okay, it's $19 a pound. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's not, it's not the cheapest thing, <laughs> but. It... Joe and I have very differing uh, opinions on what good cheese tastes like. I think it's great. It's crunchy. Give me that baby bell, bro. So wrinkly. Are you getting old? Yeah. Have you watched any of your videos from like a while ago? No. Is there a big difference? I'm starting to notice a difference for myself. Yeah. yeah. Go back and watch one of our like, first videos. Yeah. It was scary. Yeah. Like how long ago was it? Would it have been? Like Ten years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Doing better than some though, I man. I took a picture on Facebook of friends from high school. Some of them blowing up. Yeah, it's been thundering and threatening to rain for quite some time, so it's starting to rain now. I don't know if it'll last or not. Go hang out under the hammock for a bit. We out you. Lots of thunder. Well. Oh.
I'm gonna have to look at the weather and see if this is gonna keep up or what. We might want to bail out tomorrow if that's the case. I don't want to be stranded here again with Kyle. <laughs> I'll look on the sat phone or on the inreach here in a bit. Rain's picking up. It's picking up. true wabakimi form it's cleared up pretty nice out still windy but uh not raining 6 30 now i think i'm gonna get up we'll go see what kyle's doing and uh maybe make some supper Doing up some foods. I got a beef stew by Happy Yak. It's just on simmer right now. It's gonna simmer for like maybe one more minute and then I'm gonna cover it up and it'll sit for 12 to 15. Alright, first bite. No, 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 no. Oh my god. The beef. Nope. 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 You're not happy with your yak, huh? I am an unhappy yak right now. Mm. I am going to yak. Unhappily. Yak? What do you think, Kyle? Well, it's not a great evening to just go fishing, I would say. <laughs> Relaxing is not a word I would be using for this plan. It's a little windy. No. Yeah, you've got about 20 paddle strokes and then one cast and you blow back to shore. Your lure would go the other way that you cast it. The, the birds are basically stationary right now in the sky that I'm not getting aware of. They're struggling. Wow, he just freaking uh, ferried over. Yeah. <laughs> going river left. But the rapid, we were like, we'll just we'll start right and then we'll go river left. <laughs> no, is this river right? Yeah, and abandoned that. Uh, I don't know. Just paddle harder. Yeah. Straight. Just go straight. Well, we're going to make the most of this night. It's going to be our last night. We are getting picked up tomorrow. So uh, we'll chill out until it starts to freaking dump on us. Retreating. Retreating. Well, it's almost 8 in the morning. Our plane's going to be here for around 11 or noon. We have a few kilometer paddle into the wind, so we're going to head. Get some rollers out here. Oh, buddy. Hey, let's keep paddling. Surfing. Surfing Wabakini. These are the biggest waves we've been dealing with on the whole trip. Biggest lake, so it makes sense. Windiest day. Uh, we're just tucked in this little bay for protection and a little bit of uh, relief. My heart was pounding and <laughs> my arms were shot, so we need to get going again. 
down here, down to the campsite called Stonehenge, where we're going to wait for our plane to pick us up. Fighting them swell sideways. I don't know if crime paid. No. It's a black sky. This is reminiscent of Woodland Caribou, Kyle. Well, the sky is uh, darkening, and we're getting woodland caribou vibes here. <laughs> we'll see if this is a stranded round two. I to a little bit here and there, but oh, we're on some swells, boy! Cool. I like protected. <laughs> We're getting, we're getting close to uh, some land here. We're gonna pull over and reassess and maybe we'll be able to just wait here for the, uh, the plane because where we're supposed to get picked up is right over there, but it's uh, a, lot of, a lot of wind and a lot of paddling, a lot of waves. Plane's coming in. We have to be on the water to get it. So we're just dealing with these choppy ass waves, man. We're taking water out and everything. Couple feet here. Oh. He's not really built for it. He's more of a ground dweller. Here we go, Robbie Bell. Oh my God! Some big old waves, boys and girls. Should I get in? Get in? Yep. Um, I'm gonna get him, leave it up to this guy. I think it's his, so he can he can yeah. worry about it. Okay. Don't worry about it. You got Yes, sir. 